Some say they're frustrated with Governor Scott's changes, but others agree those suggestions should be included if marijuana is to be legal here in Vermont. Now, Governor Scott says he wants harsher penalties if you give pot to minors or if you're found driving under the influence, plus penalties if you're caught using in a car with kids inside. Governor Scott also calling for a commission of scientists to study selling pot in a regulated market. But can all of this be decided in two days? Vermont Governor Phil Scott passed on Senate Bill 22, but left open the chance to legalize marijuana during a two-day veto session next month. We have a lot of issues in Vermont that we're dealing with, and this just keeps coming to the top, and I, I don't understand why it's such a priority. House Republican leader Don Turner could suspend rules, a procedural technique that would add more days to talk about the pot bill. Turner shares some of Governor Scott's safety concerns. You know, I personally don't care what people do in their own home. I don't. I really don't. And, and that's their business. However, uh, I see what happens when it comes out into the street. But Tim Ash, president pro tem of the Vermont Senate, sees it a little differently. To me, it really legalizes a behavior that tens of thousands of Vermonters are already doing without har harming anyone else. Ash says lawmakers have been working to address some of the key safety issues that kept the governor from signing the bill. The marijuana piece, we have believed in the Senate that we should move to a full regulated system so we can control it, keep it out of the hands of kids, raise the funds necessary to do education and roadside testing. The uh, bill that wound up passing was an incremental step, if you will, which uh, allows people to possess it and grow for themselves. And while Turner concedes marijuana may soon be legal in the Green Mountain state, he doesn't think June's scheduled veto session is the right time to pass it. I see no reason why we need to do it in two days when we can go back in January. We have a whole session. Let's put it in one bill. Let's come to some kind of compromise in one bill. The veto session starts June 21st. Live in the newsroom, Renee Wanderlich, NBC5 News.